Hey everybody, Norm over here, and uh, just wanted to show you a little something on a guitar that we have had, but we wanted to make it more right because this guitar is such a great instrument. Uh, so my friend over here, Robbie Canlos, uh, he did the refinish on it. And prior, uh, when we had it before, this was the what the finish looked like. It was very kind of pale. It was, the, it was more almost a cherry sunburst, which for a 54 is wrong. And um, for whatever reason, the guy had put the pickups in backwards and he kind of opened it up a little bit. And Masa did the uh, filling in the body to bring it back to the normal spec. And then uh, Robbie did this finish and aging and he did a really beautiful job. We wanted to get the color more right. And then Masa also did the refret. Um, on the guitar and this guitar plays and sounds incredible. You'll see Michael's video when we're doing our guitar of the day for it But we just wanted to this was too important and too cool of a guitar to not treat it right and this is number 269 It's 1954 one of the first uh, Fender Strats and again, this is uh, you know, this is player grade, but it's an exceptional player grade instrument and so, Robbie, um, just tell us about what you did on the finish. Well, first of all, when I got it from Masa, I remember his first clear instruction from you was to make sure not to put a lot of lacquer on the fingerboard. Right. We wanted before so. it was over lacquered on the fingerboard, and the fret job that was on it was not, uh, you know, conducive to what a guitar like this could be. So Masa did a great <laughs> refret on it, and this thing's playing incredibly great. And then uh, I remember um, Masa also told me to be careful on the neck because whoever stripped this before kind of rounded this off. So okay. I, so I got all my straight edges and tried my best to block it. Okay. The, the idea was to, if I was taking off wood, it has to be minimal. Right. And whatever the, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the oddities of a 54 strat, like very squared here, I, I have to be very careful not to change the shape. Right. And this so. is, of course, an ash body. Yes, sir. And um, you did a beautiful relicing job Thank on you it, so which much. is really appropriate for the guitar. It looks it looks pretty original and with the checking and the marks and all that. Um, but just a really great instrument. And Masa, thank you for doing, uh, you know, the, the filling in here where you can see where um, there was a route, because the guy, for whatever reason, reversed uh, the pickups in here makes no sense to me, but we made it so it does make sense. And this was owned by a buddy of mine in Boston, my friend Joe, and um, he always loved it because it was a great playing guitar, and he wasn't concerned that the finish wasn't really a, a great refinish, and the fret job, you know, played good and sounded good, but this guitar deserved more. So, Robbie did a wonderful job, Mossy did a great job. Thank you. Also. Can we turn so, it around? No. Um, let's, let's see the back. Ooh. Okay. I see this number, 0269. This is one of the first strats. And, uh, you know, the aging all looks proper. The color looks proper for 54 now. And man, this thing sounds great. And so uh, whoever gets this is going to be having a really fabulous guitar. So uh, thank you guys. Thank, thank you, Robin. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Good job. <laughs>